Hey folks, my name is Brad, and today I find myself in this beautiful Vermont field, invited by my friends Phil and Tom, who you'll meet just a little bit later. So what's so special about this particular field? Well, over 200 years ago, up on that hill that's behind me, there once stood an old building, and for some reason, the people that lived there lost a ton of old coins and buttons and buckles and other artifacts that we're hoping to find today with our metal detectors. Now, if this is one of my first videos that you've seen. I post one of these every single Friday. So if you like what you see here today, consider subscribing or just come on back next week. I'm not gonna waste any more time. I'm gonna hike on up that hill, get out my metal detector, and see what we can find today. All right, this is a 65. Again, very shallow. Yeah, right here. There it is, another little button. Ooh, this one. Ooh, that one's got something on it. So there have been dozens and dozens and dozens of buttons found in this very small plot of land. I suspect because it was heavily farmed early 1800s, late 1700s. Um, and, but thus far, as far as I know, nothing has had any images on it until this one I just found here. And hopefully you can make out uh, that appears to be an eagle. Is there anything in the shield? Nope. Beautiful. Oftentimes on military buttons inside the shield in the center of the eagle, there will be an A for artillery or an I for infantry. As you can hopefully see, this one does not have anything, just some stripes uh, and probably stars up above. But if I would to guess, I would say post-Civil War, 1880s maybe. That's a great find. See what else we can find here. All right, this has got to be trash. It's an 89, 91, right on the surface. Sounds like a beer can. Right there. What in the world? <laughs> that is a big, I don't know, clock part? Not a beer can. That is a 93, which is an amazing target. Yeah, I see it. I think it's a copper. Is that an old copper coin? Totally. Well, I got that beautiful 90s target. I had a pretty good idea. It might be something good, and it was. As hopefully you can see down here, that is an old copper coin. We can see Lady Liberty there. Wow, this thing is, it has a beautiful green patina on there. Hopefully you can make that out. Wow, so this is a US large scent. Uh, older coins have been found here in the past, Connecticut coppers, British coins, but man, I'm happy with a large scent. 1823, beautiful old United States large scent. And maybe you can see also here, in the soil, there is a whole bunch of brick fragments. It's pretty clear that there was a home either here or very close by. By the amount of buttons and coins we've been finding, this is a good spot. So Phil just found this wild copper coin. You know, it looks like a British copper, but we didn't recognize it. The reverse is where the date is on these coins, and we can't can't make it out, but it seems like late 1700s, early 1800s. Good for you. Beautiful 83. Probably a button. So once again, please uh, excuse the wind noise. It is so windy, my cameras are blowing down. Ah! <laughs> but we're having a blast. I just got an 83, hopefully you saw that on the GoPro footage. 
it sounded like it was on the surface. I dug and dug and finally I did find it and it's a copper coin. This side, I believe I can make out that it's a large scent. Yeah, you can see right there, scent. Wow, another one in excellent condition. Hopefully you can make that out one cent. This side, 1800. Wow, look at that. Hard to beat that. Wow, this is a nice one. Very nice. 1800. Right on the money. Missed the 1700s by a year. I'm having a blast. We're all finding good stuff today. Beautiful condition. I know. You were saying some of them didn't come out this nice, huh? No. The two that I found today are immaculate. This is a good spot. Well, Tom's showing off his pile of stuff midday here. So far, so good. Couple thimbles, that's interesting. Yeah, one's open on top and one's not. Oh, okay, the tailor's thimble. And this thing is a little hat. Oh yes, I believe that's part of a oil lamp. Are there holes in the top? Oh, okay. Um, I don't Maybe. know. There is. Yeah, two holes. And then, um, yeah, a rains guide. Horse tack. That's a big one, huh? It is. Is there anything? They oh, come yeah, huge in this place. Some engraving around the outside. Yeah. Good stuff. Thank you again for uh, inviting me oh, here. Oh, it's our pleasure. What a spot. Great. It is good. And since you still have snow where you are. That's true. It's kind of nice to be able to get out there. Very nice, yes. 92, that's, I mean, I don't want to call it. Calling is bad luck, but that certainly seems like it's a coin. Oh yeah, definitely. I don't know what was happening here. 200 years ago. I would guess like a place of business because there are so many targets out here and a lot of them are coins, old coins. And hopefully you can see here we have one in the dirt clump still. It's stuck to a rock. It's got some corrosion on this side. Well, unfortunately we're not gonna figure out what this one is in the field. Hopefully when I get home I'll figure it out. But it is an old copper coin. I'm gonna guess early 1800s. More than likely a large scent, but it could be British too. You never know. But it really makes me wonder what was going on here for them to be losing so many coins. Were they dropping them? Were they in a building that was then destroyed and these coins were scattered? It's exciting. Let's keep searching. 82. What is this? No kidding. I found one of these in a recent video, but it wasn't broken and folks were saying it was a window lock. Well, one of my favorite parts about this hobby is you just never know. Three feet away, I got a high 80s target. Got excited about it, I dug it up and it was just a plain old flat button. Move over here, got the same target. It's probably gonna be another button, right? Somebody lost a shirt or something, but no, it is a big old copper coin. It does seem to have a nice green patina on there. Whoa, this is an oldie. Hopefully you can see down here at the bottom, the date, 1787. Oh yeah. Now that I know how old it is, I'm gonna carefully take my time with this side. It's a thick clay, it doesn't seem to be scratching the coins at all. Uh, as we remove this stuff, so I'm gonna take my time and see if we can see the, the bust side here. But hopefully you can see over here an ORI, that's Octori. This is a Connecticut copper. You can actually, look at that. You flip it and it's not perfectly uh, symmetrical. That is an awesome find. Not as clean as some of the uh, large scents we found here, but older, more significant, it's a state coin. They're hard to find unless you're in the Northeast. Really, really great find. So fortunate. 
uh, to be here today. Having a blast. Another coin. Whoa, what is this? Whoa. I can't believe it. Um, so I apologize again for the wind. The cameras might be shaking around. It is absolutely brutal out here right now. But I just found something on my bucket list. So earlier I had found that Connecticut copper. I've found dozens of Connecticut coppers in the past. It's a state coin, late 1700s. I've only found a couple Vermont coins. I've only found a couple Massachusetts coins. Never found a New York or a New Jersey. And what I have right here is in fact a New Jersey state copper. I recognized the big old shield on the back. On this side, there will be a horse head and uh, I believe a plow down below. The dates will be very similar to the Connecticut state coin, 1786, 1787. Oh man, I think it's gonna be nice. I think it's gonna be real nice. Look at that, incredible. The side with the horse head and the plow I think is going to clean up nicely as well you see that there 1786 there'd be a horse head and a plow and then of course the shield i don't know how many jersey coins have been found up here in vermont but i can't imagine it's very many man <sighs> buzzing i'm so excited how's it going up here Got some lunch, got some drink, I'm all set. I got a bucket lister. Did you really? I did, you wanna see it? I do, I do. I found my third thimble. <laughs> is that a state copper? It is a state copper. Is that a jersey? It is. You know, Phil found one of those just the other day. He did? Yes. Good for him, was it here? But it has a plow on it, I don't see a plow. Yeah, there's a plow on there, the horse head and the plow. Oh, there it is. Yep. Yeah, he just found one. It wasn't at this site, but he found one. Awesome. That's really nice. Thank you. I've never found a jersey. Now I've just got New York left. On a roll. Awesome. That's a great part. 72. What do we got here? Ooh, I know exactly what that is. All right, well, thus far today, really only been finding buttons, a lot of buttons, coins, I think a couple thimbles were found maybe, and a couple horse tack buckles. This is a buckle, but it is not a horse tack buckle. Unfortunately, it is totally mangled, but I recognize exactly what this is. I'm not even going to attempt to unbend it. It will likely break if I do that. Uh, but this is uh, what I would call an open worked, colonial shoe buckle and it is brass but man look at that gorgeous engraving around the outside of this thing i don't want to say one of the prettiest i've ever seen but man it's up there you can see here there's a hole where the pin would have gone through and all of the inner workings of the buckle would have sat on that pin that's a great find i love finding coins i love finding buttons but shoe buckles are extra special to me I'm gonna stick in this area, see if maybe we can find more of this one. 1807 maybe? 1807? Nice details on the date though. Back with the <laughs> All right, 87, that's either, well, I won't call it. I won't call it. That looks like a coin. 
All right, well, this was, this was our home base for most of the day. We're, we're just standing around chatting, um, kind of winding down towards the end of the day and swinging around while I was talking and it got a pretty nice tone and appears to be coin. I have lost count. We've, we've found so many coins today. This side's still crowded up. Let's see here. Oh, there it is. One cent. Again, in pretty good shape. 1810. One cent. Well, since both you guys are standing here, thank you again for inviting me, allowing me to find all of this stuff, allowing me to film. Having a blast. Great spot you guys have here. <laughs> All right, folks, well, we've stepped into some trees to try to get out of the wind. We're calling it a day, and what a day it was. We found so much awesome stuff. Uh, we're having a hard time getting it all set out together so that we can get it in one big shot, so we're going to have to break it apart. Wild day. Let's take a look at what we found today. All right, Tom, did you count your buttons? I did not. <laughs> Uh, it looks like maybe a dozen buttons there. Tom found three thimbles. Looks like two of them are the tailor's thimbles. So they kind of give you more dexterity when you're sewing something. Piece of a, a broken reins guide set of silver spoon. Look at these big dandy buttons. Good stuff. And I've never seen um, a Tomback button like this that says gilt on the back. That's super cool. Gilt. And this side is awesome too. All right, and here we have Phil's treasures. Two wizards, two toys, homemade toys. You, it looks like this one was probably a spoon, huh? Could have put a couple holes in there and you put a string through and kids would uh, make some noise with them. Did you count your buttons? How many buttons do you have? You didn't count. There's a bunch. Piece of a clock, piece of a shoe buckle, a tiny little buckle, we can call it a knee buckle. Uh, and then four coins. Are they all large cents? Oh no, three large cents and then your incredible copper. Probably late 1700s, I would guess, judging by the other non-large cent coins we found. Awesome. All right, look at the pile of treasures here. This is the stuff that I found today after just maybe six hours of metal detecting, one of the best days I've had in a very long time. Uh, I counted the buttons. I believe there are 31, including the wonderful a military button out front. Uh, but if you look around, there isn't a huge variety of kind of different things. It's a whole lot of buttons, a whole lot of coins. This thing, I'm not entirely sure. I assume it's a piece of a clock. Iron buckle next to the beautiful fragment of shoe buckle. And then out front, of course, the coins. Six copper coins today. Unbelievable. And almost all of them are beautiful. We have three confirmed large cents and then out front the two state coins. One of them is a Connecticut, of which I found dozens already, but this one is a New Jersey, my one and only. I'm so excited about finding this one today and in how good of a condition it is. Incredible. Thanks guys for the invitation. What an incredible place. There's so much stuff to find. We found so much stuff. People dream about metal detecting places like this. Thank you again. Come on back. Thank you. Thanks everybody for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed today's adventure and hopefully I'll see you next week. When, I don't know, maybe I'll be here again. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> Come on back. Thanks for watching. Um.